Sumo. The fighting circles stand ready. Each one belongs to a highly trained exponent of the art of sumo. To win, our contestants must avoid getting thrown to the ground or chucked out of the ring. Let the sumos assemble. We've got Kung Fu Ken, uh, whatever that is. Sexual Nightmare. Candy May, or may not. And the Fighting Banana. Let's get ready to rumble. And the Fighting Banana is already trying to psych out his opponent. Either that or he needs the toilet. But she knows what we know. It's the closest he's ever been to a woman in his life. The preliminaries are over. It's grapple time, and it's all gone a bit strictly come sumo to start with. But now the difference in style is clear. She's gone high, he's gone low. Very low. And she is having none of it. She's responded with a classic sumo move. The Nutcracker is a wonderful ballet. You really should go and see it if you get the chance. And the fighting banana is out. He fell for the oldest kick in the books. His opponent wins, and he's not feeling so cocky anymore. Time for our second bout, and it's my personal favourite of the sumo wrestlers, although I'm really not sure why. But I think it's something to do with her personality, plus her grace and her elegance. She wins, of course. That was literally a pushover. Call in. Please call me. The fighting banana is back. He's been patched up after his pummeling in his first bout, but his next opponent has a big size advantage. You have to fear for the banana here. Oh, and he's been tossed like a bit of banana peel out of a car window, taking out the referee as well. It is chaos. Okay. Our contestant is through, but for the banana, it's another night in A&E. Time to unleash Kung Fu Ken. Ah! He's got all the moves, and here comes his opponent, whose outfit is very sports casual. Let's hope he's not a sports casualty. KFK is ready. His opponent is ready. Let's get it on. Oh, it's a cagey start. A lot of shadow sumo going on there. Kenny's throwing some mean shapes. And incredible, Ken's gone out of the ring. I think he tripped over the edge, or maybe tripped over his ponytail. Anyway, sports casual wins. <laughs>